ओम शांति थर्टी एथ जनवरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री इंग्लिश मर्ली एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू आर गॉड्स चिल्ड्रन एंड दिस इज योर इनवैल्युएबल लाइफ योर गॉडली क्लैन इज द मोस्ट एलिवेटेड मेंटेन द इंटॉक्सिकेशन दैट गॉड हिमसेल्फ हैज अडॉप्टेड यू क्वेश्चन वट डू यू नीड टू प्रैक्टिस इन ऑर्डर टू ब्रेक द कॉन्शियसनेस ऑफ योर बॉडीज answer number 1 while walking or moving around practice being aware that you are in your present bodies for this short time in name only just as the father has entered a body for a short time in the same way you souls have also adopted those bodies in order to make bharat into heaven by following shrimat remember the father and the inheritance and the consciousness of your bodies will then break this is called liberation in life in a second number 2 wake up at amlitwela and have a sweet conversation with the father and the consciousness of your bodies will end today's song salutations to shiva om shanti god is only one and he is also the father it has been explained to you children that the form of a soul is not a huge oval shaped light in brackets lingam a soul is a very tiny dot it is like a star sparkling in the center of the forehead it is not a huge oval shaped light like those in the temples no as is a soul so is the father the supreme soul the form of a soul is not like that of a human being it is the soul that takes the support of a human body the soul does everything sanskars are in each soul a soul is a star a soul takes birth according to his good or bad sanskars therefore you have to understand these things very clearly people place a lingam in the temples so in order to explain to them we do show a shiva lingam that one is called shiva there can be nothing without a name or form everything definitely has some form the father is the resident of the supreme abode in brackets param dham the father the supreme soul says just as a soul enters a body i too have to enter a body in order to change hell into heaven the father's praise is unique you children now know that you have come here to play your parts this is an eternal imperishable unlimited drama it can never end it continues to turn there is one creator and one creation this is the cycle of the unlimited world there are four ages the other age is the confluence of the cycles when the father comes and changes the impure world into a pure world this cycle continues to turn you children are now aware that all souls are residents of the supreme abode and that you came on to this field of action to play your parts this unlimited drama has to repeat the father is the master of the unlimited there is unlimited praise of that father this praise cannot belong to anyone else he is also the seed of the human world tree he is the father of all the father says i enter ravan's foreign world on one side there is the community of those who have devilish traits and on the other side there is the community of those who have divine virtues this world is called the land of kans in brackets devil kans is called a devil whereas krishna is called a deity the father has now come to make you into deities and take you back no one else has the strength to do this the father sits here and gives you teachings and inspires you to imbibe divine virtues this is the father's duty the father says when everyone becomes tamo prathan they forget me 
Not only do they forget me, they also put me into babbles and stones. It is only when they defame me to this extent that I come. No one else is defamed as much as I am. This is why I come as your liberator. I will take all of you back like a swarm of mosquitoes. No one else can say, focus your mind on me. In brackets, man manam bhava. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul and your sins will be absolved. Shri Krishna cannot say this. You children know the praise of the Father. He is the ocean of knowledge, the ocean of happiness. Then Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar are the second number. Who carries out establishment through Brahma? Would it be Shri Krishna? The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul sits here and explains that first of all he needs Brahmins and so he creates Brahmins, the mouth-born creation through Brahma. Those Brahmins are a creation born through sin. At the confluence age you are the children of Brahma. The Father comes and changes you from Shudras into Brahmins. At this time you belong to God's clan. God is incorporeal whereas Brahma is corporeal. First the father creates Brahmins, then deities and then warriors. This cycle continues to turn. Other religions emerge later. Bharat is the main place. This Bharat is an imperishable land where the father comes and creates heaven. He is the father, the teacher and also the Sadguru. How could he be omnipresent? He is your father. No one in this world apart from you Brahmins can be a knower of the three aspects of time. You children understand that you reside with the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul in the Supreme Abode. Then you come down number wise onto this field of action and then after completing your 84 births you return there. The father explains how you go into the different castes and how many births you take while the cycle continues to turn. You now belong to God's community. This is your invaluable life. You have now become God's children. The father comes and adopts you through Brahma. The father is the creator of heaven. So he himself comes and makes you into the masters of the world. It is the task of the Father alone to establish peace over the whole world. The Father says, this is my part. Once again I have come to teach you Raj Yoga through which you become ever healthy. You become deities and everything then repeats. The sapling is being planted. The Father is the master of the garden and is planting the sapling through this one. The father personally sits here with you and says, My long lost and now found children, my children who have been separated for a long time. Do you remember how I sent you to heaven and how you went around the cycle of 84 births? You have now come to me. Therefore consider yourselves to be souls and remember me, your father. You definitely have to return home. Whether you want to go or not, I will definitely take you back. First there was the original eternal deity religion and then there was the devilish kingdom. When the kingdom of the deities ended, there was no longer any purity. Therefore you became those with a single crown. It is now the rule of people over people. The kingdom of the deities is being established once again. The flames of destruction are now being ignited from this sacrificial fire. He will not rule an impure world. It is now the confluence age. You will not say this in the golden age. You children are now making effort. Who is inspiring you? The one who gives you Srimat. The one who is the most powerful and elevated is the one father. He is carrying out establishment through Brahma. 
the father says, I am the most obedient servant of Bharat. I make Bharat into heaven. There the kings and the subjects all remain happy. There is natural beauty there. Just look how beautiful Lakshmi and Narayan are. Heavenly God the Father is the one who establishes heaven. People of the whole world say that the Gita was spoken by God Shri Krishna. However, Shri Krishna cannot say, Man mana bhava, constantly remember me alone and your sins will be burnt away. There is no other matter. The water of the Ganges is not the purifier. That would not say, remember me alone. Only the one father sits here and says this. The father speaks to souls. The father alone is the bestower of salvation for all. There are temples to him. All the memorials are built to him from the copper age onwards. There is also the Somnath temple. But no one knows what he did here or when he came here. They have mixed Shiva and Shankar together. There is so much difference between Shiva, the resident of the Supreme Abode, and Shankar, a resident of the subtle region. They don't understand anything. The father says, no matter how many scriptures and Vedas people study, or how much penance and tapasya they do, none of them can meet me. Although I gave everyone the return of their loving devotion, in brackets, Bhavana, they consider God to be the infinite light of Brahm. Even if they do have a vision of Brahm, nothing is achieved through that. I grant some a vision of Hanuman, others a vision of Ganesh, and fulfill their desires for a temporary period. They become happy for a short time, but everyone still has to become Tamopratan. Even if they go and sit in the Ganges all day, they still have to become Tamopratan. The father says, Children, become pure and you will become the masters of the pure world for 21 births. There is no other satsang where there can be so much attainment. The father comes to teach you Raj Yoga. Therefore, you should follow his Srimad. You should pay attention to studying. The Father gives you the most elevated directions and by following His Srimad, you make Bharat into heaven. You have to understand the secrets of the drama very clearly and make effort. You have to make effort and become worthy. You children should have the intoxication that you have come here to establish heaven with the Father. You are the residents of that place. You are in your present bodies, just in name, for a short time. Baba too has only come here for a short time. The consciousness of these bodies has to be broken. Remember the Father and the inheritance. This is known as liberation in life. In brackets, Jivan Mukti, in a second. The Father says, I have come to take everyone back. Now consider yourselves to be souls and wake up early in the morning and remember Baba. Talk to him. You know that your 84 births are now ending. We have now become the children of God and we will become children of the deities and then children of the warriors. Baba is making us into the masters of the world. Sit and praise the Father. Baba, you have performed wonders. You come and teach us every cycle. Baba, this knowledge that you give us is so wonderful. Heaven is so wonderful. Those wonders are physical, whereas this wonder is established by the Supreme Father. The Father has come to establish the land of Sri Krishna. From whom did Lakshmi and Narayan attain their reward? from the Father, together with the world mother and the world father, there must also be the children, they are Brahmins, the world mother in brackets, Jagadamba, 
is a Brahmin. She is Kamdhenu, in brackets, the cow who fulfills everyone's desires. She fulfills everyone's desires. This one is Jagadamba and she then becomes the Empress of Heaven. It is such a wonderful secret. The Father gives you many different methods to make your stage strong. Stay awake at night and remember Baba and your final thoughts will lead you to your destination. When you make full effort, you are able to stay in remembrance. You have to return home after having passed with honors. Only eight win this scholarship. You all say that you will marry Lakshmi or Narayan. Therefore, you definitely first have to pass. Check that you don't have any monkey behavior. Continue to remove it. Check that you didn't make anyone unhappy throughout the whole day. The father is the one who grants happiness to everyone. You children also have to become like him. You must not cause anyone sorrow with your words or deeds. Show everyone the true path. Those inheritances are from limited fathers, whereas this unlimited inheritance is from the unlimited father. Only those who receive it can tell you about it. Those who belong to your religion will instantly be touched by this. The father says, I enter the body of Brahma once again in order to establish the kingdom of deities. It is in the intellects of you children that at this time you are Brahmins and that you will then become deities. First you will go to the subtle region and then to the land of peace. From there you will go to the new world through the palace of a womb. You come here through the jail of a womb. It is said, false maya, false body. The father says, people have defamed religion so much. They celebrate the birthday of Shiva, but they don't know when Shiva came or whom he entered. He must definitely have entered someone's body in order to make hell into heaven. The father very clearly explains and advises you children. Keep your chart as to how long you remember the father throughout the whole day. Wake up early in the morning and remember the father and your inheritance. We have come to the unlimited father in order to change Bharat into heaven in an incognito way. We now have to return home. Before going back, we must definitely establish our kingdom. You are now at the confluence age, whereas the whole world is in the Iron Age. You are confluence aged Brahmins. The Father has brought the gift of liberation and liberation in life for you children. In the Golden Age, when all other souls were in the land of liberation, those of Bharat were liberated in life. The father brings heaven on the palm of his hand for you and so he himself would definitely make you worthy for that. Acha, To the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children extend their love, remembrance, say good morning, Namaste and thank you to the spiritual Bab Dada. Essence for Dharana Number 1. Constantly stay in the intoxication of being the instruments who establish heaven with the father. The Father makes you into the masters of the world. Number two, become those who give happiness like the Father. You must not cause anyone sorrow. Show everyone the true path. In order to experience self-progress, keep a chart for yourself. Blessing, may you use your speciality of an instrument and of being humble and go fast and come the first number in service and become an embodiment of success. 
explanation while moving forward doing service remain aware of your speciality of being an instrument and having humility and you will become an embodiment of success just as you are clever in running around doing in service in the same way become clever with these two specialities when you do this you will go fast and come first in service do service while staying within the line of the codes of conduct of brahmin life and by considering yourself to be a spiritual server you will become an embodiment of success you will not have to work hard slogan those whose intellects always imbibe jewels of knowledge are true holy swans om shanti